Are you aware that the largest bubble in history might be on the verge of bursting right before our eyes? And what are the mysteries behind the electric vehicle sector? You're about to uncover astonishing truths that could alter how you perceive the future of automobiles. Let's examine data, discuss trends, and understand the challenges this sector faces. Explosive Growth of Electric Vehicles In recent years, the electric vehicle sector has witnessed remarkable expansion. This surge is propelled by public policies, technological innovations, and a growing environmental consciousness. Countries like Norway now see over half of their new cars being electric, while in China, the government has implemented aggressive strategies to encourage the adoption of these vehicles. But how did we get here? The turning point was the COVID-19 pandemic, which accelerated the shift towards more sustainable technologies. Governments worldwide saw the crisis as an opportunity to boost economic recovery through green investments. In Europe, the European Union passed a landmark law in 2023, mandating that from 2035, the sale of new cars emitting carbon dioxide will be banned. This legislation, supported by automotive giants like Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and Ford, aims to significantly reduce carbon emissions, contributing to the goal of climate neutrality by 2050. However, it's not just public policies fueling this growth. Electric vehicle technology has rapidly advanced, making them more affordable and efficient. Lithium-ion batteries, for example, are becoming cheaper and have a higher energy storage capacity, allowing for longer ranges and shorter charging times. Moreover, companies like Tesla and BYD are leading innovations that make electric vehicles increasingly competitive with combustion engine cars. Another significant factor is the shift in consumer behavior. More and more people are choosing electric vehicles, not just for the environmental benefit but also for the reduced operational costs. Electric cars are more economical in terms of maintenance and energy consumption and offer a quieter and more comfortable driving experience. In Brazil, the outlook is equally promising. The country has seen a significant increase in the importation of electric vehicles, with 51% of these vehicles coming from China. Brands like BYD are gaining popularity, with models that compete head-to-head -head with traditional combustion sedans. The SEAL model, for example, is already the second biggest sale in the mid-size sedan category, only trailing behind the Toyota Corolla and surpassing the Honda Civic. However, despite this impressive growth, doubts and concerns arise. Is this rapid pace of expansion sustainable? Or are we facing a bubble about to burst? The saturation of the Chinese market is a warning sign, and understanding how this might affect the global market is crucial. Can China maintain its growth rate, or are we about to witness a slowdown that will impact the entire world? Challenges of the Chinese market saturation The world's largest electric vehicle market is currently experiencing saturation that's beginning to affect the sector's global growth. This phenomenon results from several factors that need careful analysis to understand the future of electric vehicles. In recent years, the Asian government has heavily invested in the production and promotion of sustainable vehicles. Public policies provided generous subsidies and tax incentives for manufacturers and consumers, leading to a rapid increase in sales. Moreover, the charging infrastructure was expanded swiftly, with thousands of new stations installed in a short period. However, this rapid expansion has brought challenges. The supply of electric vehicles has grown faster than demand, leading to an overcapacity situation. Manufacturers like Tesla and BYD, which dominate the market, are beginning to feel the effects of this saturation. Moreover, the growth in electric vehicle sales is starting to slow down, which could have significant implications for the global market. Another key factor is the lack of adequate charging infrastructure outside major urban centers. While large cities have good coverage of charging stations, rural areas and smaller towns still face significant challenges in this regard. This limits the adoption of electric vehicles across the country and contributes to market saturation in large metropolises. Additionally, 
consumers are beginning to notice some of the problems associated with electric vehicles, such as battery durability and the high cost of replacement. Battery lifespan remains a concern, especially in cold climates where battery performance can be significantly reduced. This factor is particularly relevant in regions experiencing harsh winters. Intense competition among manufacturers is also forcing companies to reduce their profit margins to stay competitive. This, combined with government-imposed credit restrictions, is putting further pressure on automakers' finances. The need to cut costs could lead to a decrease in vehicle quality or a reduction in investments in research and development, potentially compromising future innovations in the sector. The saturation of the world's largest market is a warning sign for the global electric vehicle sector. If the largest market is facing these challenges, it's likely that other markets may also encounter similar difficulties as electric vehicle adoption increases. The question remains, how will this affect the rest of the world, and specifically, emerging markets like Brazil? Let's explore how the lack of charging stations could impact the popularization of these vehicles and what can be done to overcome this challenge. Charging Infrastructure and Its Shortcomings One of the most significant hurdles to the widespread adoption of electric vehicles EVs, is the inadequate charging infrastructure. This crucial factor can directly influence consumer purchasing decisions and the market's expansion. Let's delve deeper into how charging infrastructure impacts the popularization of electric vehicles and explore potential solutions to overcome these obstacles. In developed countries, such as the United States and European nations, extensive networks of charging stations already exist. However, even in these regions, the infrastructure is still insufficient to meet the growing demand. For instance, in the United States, despite a considerable number of charging stations, they are unevenly distributed, with a higher concentration in coastal and urban areas, leaving rural regions with little to no coverage. In Brazil, the situation is even more critical. The number of charging stations is extremely limited, especially outside major urban centers. Recent data indicate that there are about 300 public charging stations in the country, primarily concentrated in the states of Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. This is clearly inadequate to support widespread adoption of electric vehicles, considering Brazil's vast territory and the number of vehicles in circulation. The lack of adequate infrastructure leads to a phenomenon known as range anxiety. This term describes drivers' fear of running out of battery before finding a charging station. Range anxiety is a significant barrier to the adoption of electric vehicles, as many consumers prefer the convenience of combustion cars, which can be easily refilled at any gas station. To tackle this challenge, significant investment in expanding the charging infrastructure is necessary. Some possible solutions include Governments could offer subsidies and tax incentives to companies installing charging stations. This could accelerate infrastructure expansion and make it more accessible to consumers. Collaborations between public sectors and private companies could result in faster and more efficient development of charging infrastructure. Energy companies and automakers could partner to install stations at strategic locations. Investing in technologies that reduce charging time could help alleviate range anxiety. Fast charging stations can recharge a battery in minutes, making the experience more convenient for drivers. Encouraging the installation of home chargers could relieve pressure on public stations. Providing incentives for home charger installation could be an effective strategy. The lack of charging infrastructure is a significant challenge. But with well-planned strategies and adequate investments, it is possible to overcome this obstacle and facilitate the mass adoption of electric vehicles. The Impact of Climate Conditions on Battery Performance Climate conditions play a crucial role in the performance of electric vehicles, particularly regarding batteries. This factor can significantly influence drivers' experiences in the mass adoption of these vehicles. Let's explore how different climate conditions affect batteries and what manufacturers are doing to mitigate these effects. 
In cold climates, electric vehicle batteries can experience a significant reduction in efficiency. Tests by Consumer Reports show that at temperatures below freezing, the range of electric vehicles can decrease by up to 25%. This is because chemical reactions within batteries are less efficient at lower temperatures, reducing energy storage capacity. Moreover, on cold days, drivers tend to use the vehicle's heating system more, which consumes additional battery energy. This increased energy consumption can further reduce the vehicle's range, making trips shorter and necessitating more frequent recharges. In regions with harsh winters, this is a significant issue that must be addressed to ensure the viability of electric vehicles. To mitigate the effects of low temperatures, manufacturers are developing thermal management technologies to maintain batteries at an optimal temperature. These systems use heaters and coolers to regulate battery temperature, ensuring efficient operation regardless of external climate conditions. While these solutions improve performance, they also increase the cost and complexity of vehicles. Another relevant issue is battery durability in adverse climate conditions. In hot climates, batteries can degrade more quickly due to excessive heat. This can shorten battery life and increase the frequency of replacements, adding extra costs for electric vehicle owners. To address these challenges, some automakers are investing in research to develop new battery technologies that are more resistant to temperature variations. Solid-state batteries, for example, promise to be more stable and durable across a wide range of climate conditions. These batteries are still in development but have the potential to revolutionize the electric vehicle market. Another important aspect is the charging infrastructure in extreme climates. In cold regions, charging stations need to be designed to operate efficiently even at sub-zero temperatures. This includes using cold-resistant materials and heating systems to ensure stations function correctly. Similarly, in hot regions, stations need to be designed to withstand extreme heat, which may include cooling systems and protection against solar radiation. Despite climate challenges, the electric vehicle industry continues to advance. Technological innovations are making these vehicles increasingly viable under various environmental conditions. However, it's crucial for consumers and manufacturers to continue working together to overcome these obstacles and ensure electric vehicles are a practical and sustainable option for everyone. Why is Brazil experiencing continuous growth in this sector while other markets face challenges? What strategies are automakers adopting to win over Brazilian consumers? The Brazilian Electric Vehicle Market Situation As numerous markets globally grapple with significant hurdles towards the mass adoption of electric vehicles (EVs), Brazil is witnessing a promising and continual growth in this sector. Let's delve into the reasons behind this growth and understand the strategies automakers are employing to captivate Brazilian consumers. The Brazilian electric vehicle market has seen a steady increase in demand, propelled by various factors. Firstly, there's a growing environmental awareness among consumers. Many Brazilians are becoming increasingly concerned about environmental issues and are seeking more sustainable transportation alternatives. Electric vehicles are perceived as an effective solution to cut down carbon emissions and lessen the ecological footprint. Moreover, the high costs of fossil fuels in Brazil have made consumers consider electric vehicles as an economical alternative. With gasoline and diesel prices often soaring, electric cars emerge as an appealing option due to their lower operational costs. Electricity, used to charge these vehicles, typically costs less than fossil fuels, leading to significant savings over time. The Brazilian government has also played a crucial role in promoting electric vehicles. While there's still much to be done regarding tax incentives and subsidies, some measures have been implemented to support the adoption of these vehicles. For instance, in some cities, electric vehicles are exempt from certain fees and taxes, and they have access to exclusive lanes and free parking. These initiatives help make electric vehicles more appealing to consumers. Another factor contributing to the growth of the Brazilian market is the presence of Chinese automakers, such as BYD, 
which are heavily investing in the country. The manufacturer, for example, has launched competitive models that are already gaining traction among Brazilian consumers. The aggressive marketing strategies and competitive pricing of these automakers have helped boost sales. However, despite the promising growth, the Brazilian electric vehicle market still faces significant challenges. Charging infrastructure, as previously discussed, is a major barrier. Although major cities like Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro are beginning to develop a network of charging stations, availability is still limited, especially in rural areas and smaller towns. Moreover, the initial cost of electric vehicles remains relatively high. While operational costs are lower, the purchase price can be a hurdle for many consumers. Automakers and the government need to collaborate to offer incentives that make these vehicles more accessible. To overcome these challenges, continuous investment in infrastructure and public policies encouraging the adoption of electric vehicles is essential. Accessible financing programs and subsidies for purchasing electric vehicles can help lower the initial cost and make these vehicles more attractive. Brazil has significant potential to become a leader in the electric vehicle market, but this requires a joint effort from the government, industry, and consumers. Expanding charging infrastructure, combined with financial incentives, can accelerate adoption and ensure more Brazilians transition to more sustainable vehicles. The electric vehicle market is at a crossroads. While some markets face saturation and significant challenges, others, like Brazil, continue to grow. Charging infrastructure, battery durability, and climate conditions are obstacles that need to be overcome for electric vehicles to become the norm. However, with rapid technological advancements and growing consumer interest, we might witness a significant transformation in the near future. Do you believe electric vehicles are truly a sustainable solution or just a passing trend encouraged by governments and large corporations? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.